Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with Everything Attachments, newest product that we've designed in-house and built in-house. This is our compact plow, and just to give you a little family history, my family's been in the farming and plowing business for over 150 years. My uncle just quit uh, his business in Lincolnton, which was my great-grandfather's. Uh, my uncle's 87 years old, and his sight got bad, so he did finally close. Rhodes and Courier in Lincolnton. So we've been in the mule business since the 1850s pulling plows. The stables and the hayloft are still in his business in Lincolnton. My father's been here since 1946 at Courier Implement Company. So we've taken the plow that looks similar to the lineback uh, compact plow and we've made some improvements on it and we've just, we've just made a better piece of equipment here that is 100% American made. We make this mow board in-house, we make the front shin in-house, and we don't make the plow share or, or the point, but it is made in the U.S. and we've gone through extra lengths to make sure that we get it from the U.S. Empire Plow builds that share and everything else we bolt on, paint, and do here in-house. So we've done some extra changes on this mow board to give it just a little, and you wonder why it's not just a rounded, pretty mow board. You have to put a little bit of flare in it here to do, to do two things, to finish the roll of the dirt and to create kind of an air pocket. So if you're in a real gummy uh, clay, like a gumbo or I red clay with a little bit of moisture, it gives it a pocket to be able to suck air and get up on this raised area here to do its final flipping. So Peanut and I have tried this plow over at my house and were amazed with how good that it was doing over other plows that we had been using. Uh, you'll notice that a couple of the edges on it are rounded. We've tried to take some of the squareness out of it where you don't get your, where the shipping people don't get their pants torn on them and where you don't get them torn trying to hook them up to your tractor. Um, if you happen to have a BX tractor and your stabilizers are coming to the center and the bar, the stabilizers are hooking real near your bar, you may have to cut off this front piece on a BX tractor if you've got one of the ones that the stabilizers come all the way to the end. And you also will not be able to use the coulter option that's available for this plow. So what we're gonna do for the BX tractors, and I've done this for a couple and I think we can get by with it. We're gonna add full, we're gonna have this available. Just tell me you've got one of those tractors and we'll send it at no charge. We'll send this bar that's four inches longer and that should be able to get you clear of your stabilizer bars. Every other subcompact can use it with the coulter or the gauge wheel on any of the tractors. It's only a couple of the BX models that have the stabilizers bars run all the way to the end. So this is gonna be good for any small compact tractor up to about 35 horsepower. If you have a low to the ground tractor, the only difference between this plow and the full size plow we're building is how high it is from here to here and that's gonna allow you to keep your lift arms running level instead of uphill where it will cause the plow to dip. So it is shear protected with the smaller bolt in the back. This is called the frog in here where all of these pieces connect. So that's your shear bolt there, there's your main bolt. So if you hit something really hard with the tip, it will trip. Uh, you have a standard category one pins. It is a narrow connection for small tractors. With these four bolts, you can loosen this bar and that's gonna adjust this plow behind your tractor. Now, if you're offsetting this plow to get you more adjustment with your stabilizer bars, your plow will go to an angle, which you don't want. If you'll notice, this, this side here is down further, and that's because once your tractor is in the furrow, you're gonna need it to, to get it leveled back up. And then, so if you offset this plow with your stabilizer bars, instead of your plow running sideways, you will change this pin to the front or the back to re-straighten the plow. So if you've got any questions about what plow you should be using for your tractor, give us a call or an email. You got 150 years worth of experience on plowing. This is the first plow that we've produced 100% in-house. We're proud of it and we hope that you'll enjoy it.